the world world just landed in the bay hey man i'm gonna say this y'all make an excuse for bro because he got a billion dollars and y'all don't know how, how that's making y'all look you do sucker shit, you a sucker you do clown shit, you a clown none of y'all wouldn't wear the shirt but just because y'all trying to find a way how y'all can fang, fandangle and get in there and get some of them beans that he got y'all want to make excuses for him but it says a lot about y'all and what y'all loyalty is too your loyalty ain't to the truth your loyalty ain't to what's real your loyalty is to, is to money and y'all basically saying you can have as much money, you got money in the world, you can do all the dumb shit and all the weird shit you, you want and it's cool. That's basically what y'all saying. It's the difference between working and getting to the money and selling your soul and accepting clown shit to be around money. Do you and get your own. Can't believe y'all making excuses. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick on Steven Jackson, calling out Kanye West and the people who are supporting and making excuses for him wearing the White Lives Matter t-shirt. And I knew it was coming when I seen it online. I knew he was going to try to come back the next day and clean it up. We've seen this display of behavior before. Even when Kanye said the slavery was a choice, it's there to promote something that he's releasing or he's got a bunch of controversy going on already. Let me capitalize on it. But it makes entirely no sense. When it comes to Kanye and our celebrities, we as a people most definitely give passes, acceptance based on how much we value them, how much we have respect for their craft or what they can do for us in life. It's really all sucker behavior. In any form or fashion, I ain't saying you got to beef with Kanye. You ain't got to disrespect the nigga, but you got to be able to tell people when they wrong. Some people are so tied into this fan and stand them power that Kanye has, or they don't want to go against the grain and mess up future relationships. They'll let a nigga disrespect their own people just so, so they can stay in his favor. Nah, nigga, every nigga should be telling Kanye, hey, that ain't it, my boy. That ain't how this supposed to go. Steven Jackson was one of the ones who did. That ain't how that's supposed to go. Now, we done seen Adidas say they reevaluating their relationship, which let's be very clear, this ain't about the Black Lives or White Lives Matter thing with them. They was already headed in that direction because he going against the grain. That show y'all his contradiction right there. He been fighting, begging, and complaining online, nigga. Breakdowns and all about how these white people don't accept him. He can't get in the door with these white people. Time for 10 plus years, they doing them dirty. They own my music, they did it up, which he is correct. He ain't lying. So why would you wear a shirt that say white lives matter then? Because you just trying to upset your own people. This is the thing that black people do. This is a marketing tactic, nigga. When these white boys get online like Joe Rogan and he say nigger, that wasn't because he thought he could say that in context. He said nigger because he know it's being a shock value thing. They'll admit it. We gonna agitate the black community because we know that that sells, nigga. It's a tactic that the white people been using. Yellow journalism, propaganda in America, nigga. It's all about agitating and moving the black motherfucking thought process and position, my nigga. And I keep it all the way a thousand with y'all. Black Lives Matter, we know it was a scam, nigga. When Kanye said, oh, it was a scam, he didn't break no Da Vinci Code with that. We knew it was a scam, but guess what? Before you knew it was a scam, the point got proven. Black Lives Matter, those three words, had people all up in their feelings and upset. Everybody was protesting, even our own, nigga, was protesting. I fucks with Kanye, nigga. I, graduation, the album. I even got Yeezys. Like I said, we still follow and support things that we know what niggas be wrong at. I'm not throwing it just on y'all, that's on me too, but when it comes to Black Lives Matter, I separate the scam from what I saw when that shit came out. These people was really upset, nigga. They even started saying Blue Lives Matter. People, kids that were black were getting killed out here as if they life don't matter, nigga. The meaning behind the words Black Lives Matter is what I was focused on, that money shit is other money shit and a scam. If you live in America and you black nigga, you in the scam size world in itself, my nigga. Accept it. You bought your highest nigga, but guess what? You will never own that land 
because you got to pay them taxes for that land, nigga. That's a scam. Your people built this motherfucking country. That's documented. They know this. They teach you that in school. Hey, nigga, your great ancestors, they worked for us. We beat their ass. We raped them. We bred them. We treat them like science experiments. They built our economy up. We took everything from them, ripped them of their last name. And guess what, nigga? You're still going to pay tax to live on this land that we stole. We stole America from somebody else, but we going to make you pay for the land. If that ain't a scam, I don't know what it is, nigga. Tell me what y'all think about it. Stay on your pivot. Most shit coming.